The little recap for you from last episode. I had my solo show. It was amazing. I honestly am speechless at the amount of people that showed up and came out to support. I had so many people ask me about my art and my practice and what my pieces were about. And that was just very exciting overall. Once my show was finally over, I decided to take a break and it took about a week or two off from the studio uh, just to recharge the batteries. I literally poured my heart and soul into the show and I just so much went into the making of it that by the end of it, yeah, I, I was dead. So I took a break there, but now we're back. Last week was my first week back in the studio and I got absolutely nothing done. I just had like this huge creative block. I couldn't, I couldn't think of any ideas to paint. Usually I reference photos, but I think I've come to terms with the fact that I am just limiting myself with my own photographs. Nothing was really cooking in the photo album. Let's just say that. So I went to the library on campus. I think this was like my third time there throughout my whole undergrad and master's uh, program. Yeah, I got a study room. Didn't know I could do that. And honestly, I game changer. Yeah, uh, I just got a bunch of art books and just flipped through them, took photos of things that I liked uh, and got some more inspiration. I also used a tool called the internet to further my research and look for more images. So we've got a lot of ideas now. I'm afraid to announce that uh, it's crunch time again. I sold most of my work at my solo show, which is yes, a good thing. However, there are show opportunities to apply for and your girl's got no work. So you can see my dilemma. Uh, kind of regret taking a week or two off after my show. It was much needed though, but now uh, I'm in a bit of a time crunch again. Lately, I've been wanting to make some necklaces. So we're gonna go to Michael's to find some little beads and such. Okay, bead haul. These are all the beads that I purchased. And then I got some fishing wire and I don't know about I don't know how to do any of this, but we're gonna learn. This has kind of become like a summer ritual of mine. I for some reason just love making necklaces and things. Like I made this little charm thing for my camera and I love it, it's super cute. I always get compliments on it and I just literally made this with beads from Michaels. Well, not sure how this happened, but my water bottle literally spilled uh, in, in, into my entire bag. <laughs> now my computer looks like this. Uh, and then the, the screen just decided to, <laughs> it's on, but you could barely see it. It was flickering and then it just turned to black. I think I need a new laptop. Not sure how I'm gonna paint today because I use my, la I would have to use my phone for the reference. Um, oh, it's on. Okay. I'm scared. I also just told my boyfriend about what happened and he told me, he asked, did I not close my water bottle? And I said, well. Clearly I didn't. The screen is back to normal. If this keeps acting up, I'm gonna have to go to the Apple store. <gasps> oh, spider.
I have the best luck ever, apparently. And I mean this in the most sarcastic way. As you know, I purchased this laptop, brand new laptop, yesterday. And there's a problem with it. The touch ID does not work. Like the little thing that you, literally the most, like the smallest freaking part of the computer, the sensor of the touch ID does not work. It doesn't work. It came broken. So I have to go back to the Apple store and return it for the studio and then go to the studio and paint. Let's try this again. Moment of truth. I'm scared. <gasps> it works. Okay, peace update. This is all we have. I feel like I've gotten a lot done, but also not really because I still have like the rest of the building to go. But this, this building is very like repetitive and the details are very small and intricate. So it's, it's taking me a minute. It's taking me a little bit longer than I expected. So that's why there hasn't been much painting clips in this video because, well, it's the same thing over and over again. Today I'm gonna actually do something different and try to capture like the light reflecting off of the building. I wanna kind of get like this kind of effect where like the light kind of shimmers and it's like glowing almost and see if it works. I don't think I have the right brush for this effect. I need like one of those small, like this, the little blending brush, but this one's way too big. There's another brush that I have that's soft, but again, it's too big. So I don't, I don't, we're gonna see, yeah. 